Hello, my name is Joe Johnson, and I've been actively engaged in research into natural remedies for over 20 years. If you've got shin splints, then you need to really listen, because this crucial short video will directly affect you. What I've discovered about stopping shin splints quickly is cutting edge and just might be the untapped resource that you've been looking for. I'm going to show you how simple it is to quickly reduce and even stop shin splints for good. And just as importantly, how to switch on and speed up your body's own natural healing mechanisms without the need for any surgery and without risking your health to expensive, useless and even dangerous drugs. Now, Emma Williams is the health editor on this side and Emma's urged me to share with you details of an astonishing discovery that I've made about shin splints. One that gets rid of your shin splints faster than, well, than you thought possible. So if you do have shin splints, what is actually going on? Well, think of it like this. Whether through wear and tear of running or the strain of running, your shins have been damaged and need repairing. Now, we all know that. But if you're a shin splint problem and you're suffering from the pain and discomfort and misery, you need to somehow stimulate your body's healing mechanisms into focusing on and repairing your legs, specifically the tiny bone fractures that are called shin splints. I mean, that's the top and bottom of it. Unless you can find a way to stimulate your body's healing mechanisms without damaging your body's delicate immune system, then sooner or later you could end up using the mobility in your legs altogether. And I want you to consider this. If you've been stressed, maybe overworked or taking drugs, including painkillers or anti-inflammatory medication, then your body's healing mechanism becomes weaker. And that could be enough for your healing mechanism to be interrupted or even stopped altogether. And once your leg becomes inflamed and you experience shin splints, shin splints you're in agony. You know, you could struggle to move or even walk for months I know some people have given up running for years. So you don't want that to happen. Now, and you've got to avoid making things even worse. If you're using painkillers or anti-inflammatories to kill the pain around your shins, you've got to swallow them. Which means that the whole of your body, the, the whole of your body's healing mechanisms is shocked and weakened even further by the toxic impact of these powerful painkilling chemicals. And that's what they are, the chemicals. This is why painkillers and anti-inflammatories, they appear to work for a day or two. And then the pain, your shin splint problem, it just comes back worse than ever before because there's no healing taking place. And in case you're in any doubt about the danger of modern painkillers and anti-inflammatories, and they're sometimes called non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, as if that's all right. According to a recent report by eminent US doctors, and you can see the proof below, in the United States alone, the number of deaths caused by conventional medicine, like painkillers or anti-inflammatories, it's an astounding 784,000 men, women and children every year. That's about 2,200 a day. So it's evident that the American medical system is the leading cause of death and injury in the United States. And that is those eminent doctors saying that, not me. So, I was desperate to find a way of reducing or even stopping your shin splints. But at the same time, you've got to stimulate your body's healing mechanism into healing your shin splints as fast as possible. But you've got to do that without harming or damaging in any way your immune system. You can't put chemicals in your body and expect your immune system to work properly. So, you see, I've seen so many people, they lose their mobility in their legs and then the, then the, the, the health just goes away. 
and it starts with simple conditions like shin splints. I mean, some people even opt for expensive and, and painful surgery, but things go wrong and it's tragic and it's so often avoidable. So that's why I did my research. You see, human beings with shin splints have been around for as long as human beings have been around, tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Pharmaceutical companies have been around about 100 years and they don't want you to know what your ancestors knew about shin splints. So my first step in research is always to go back into history and see what my ancestors knew. And after a lot of reading, and I don't mean the usual herbalist research book, I mean, whilst I can't reveal my sources, I've got secret access to some of the very best herbalist remedy books on this planet. Now these books are mostly that they're just kept hidden away by rich collectors, private collectors, private libraries. I mean, even drug companies have got some amazing herbalist books and they keep them hidden away. Now I've also got access to books that modern science says are not worth looking at. Books written by people with zero medical qualifications. But these people have lived in the wilds, and they've learned and practiced every day from Mother Nature. And then they've got, these people have got herbal remedies and they pass them down, it's part of their culture. They pass it down from one generation to the next to the next. And they pass them down because these remedies work. And it was in one such, anyway, it was in one of these books that I found a clue to an ancient cure for shin splints. It was in an old bookshop and it was in the south of France. And the book itself was over 200 years old. Now, my French isn't that good, uh, but the book was written in Latin, but my Latin, my Latin isn't any good either, but I knew enough to recognize the plant names. But I was puzzled when, when, I, when I saw what I read, because there were several interests, well, there was um, some amazing remedies in that book, but this particular remedy stood out. The, the remedy I found was for swelling and injury of the shins. And yet the plants that I'd read about I'd never considered ever for using on shin splints. So I took note of the types of the herbs, where it was best to get the herbs from, the ratio and the mixture and the preparation and everything else that I could think of that might help me make this remedy. Now, of course, I've heard of these remedies, uh, these herbs before, and I've used them many times before, but I had no idea then that once mixed in this correct way, the right combination that, so, that would stimulate such an incredible pain relieving effect, but not only that, the healing effect directly into the shins. I knew that up till now, most natural remedies for shin splints don't do anything. They're nothing more than a stimulant cream. Now what that does, it just warms up the skin, stimulates the blood flow, and hopefully that, that well, that's about it, because you're not gonna experience anything else. Not, they, they won't affect your healing mechanism to any degree at all. I and mean, it helps a bit, but for shin splints, they're just not strong enough. So I expected my research to last six to 12 months, but I had a 100% proven remedy within six weeks. Now I wanted to test it for longer, but my conscience wouldn't let me because every single client with shin splints was reporting amazing results. And sometimes within just a few minutes, this remedy has been proven countless times now to quickly reduce the pain from shin splints. But not only that, it speeds up the healing time of the painful aching shins so it can get out running again. That's what you want. So how do you use this remedy? You simply massage a few drops. It's a clear, pleasant smelling remedy directly onto your shins. Now it takes about, what, 10 seconds? And you do that three, four times a day. But what's really important, before you go to bed at, at bedtime, you've got to put some on the soles of your feet. And that's it. It's that easy. The healing of your shins will begin, and it's a fast healing. And the pain levels will come down very quickly. So hopefully you'll no longer use, or need, or use those lousy pain-killing drugs that slaughter in your, your healing mechanisms. And the prospect of any surgery, well, that can go out the window. Now, I've made this remedy so that it is simple, easy, and convenient to use. It is very concentrated. It's a very pleasant smelling oily liquid. It's concentrated, so it will last a long time.
Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but this remedy really does pack a wallow. You'll feel your shins improving. Within a few hours of using it, something will feel different, and that is your shins getting better. And soon you'll have the mobility back in your legs, and hopefully saying goodbye to painkillers, and your legs will be returning to health. You'll be out running again. I mean, this is a convenient and easy to use remedy. It means you don't have to spend your days making expensive, time-consuming appointments with massage therapists and doctors and discussing your, your leg problems with strangers in the drugstore. It's just a small bottle of a thick, clear, rather pleasant smelling herbal liquid. But the bottle is so small that it'll easily fit unnoticed into your pocket or your purse. And you can put a little bit onto your shins throughout the day. Just keep it topped up. Keep the healing going. How you use it, the choice is yours. Now, I planned to launch the remedy, Cold Shin Splints Doctor, with advertising, fancy packaging, and sending it out to a small network of distributors. But I didn't get the chance. You see, word quickly spread about the results that I was getting with this remedy. And patients started turning up unannounced. Herbalists, other herbalists started coming here to my practice and literally demanded that I make it for them. But I couldn't, and you see, it wasn't so simple. See, I've tested a lot of different herbs, and the only organic herbs which consistently stop shin splints and boost the healing when they come from the Middle East. Now, in these war-torn times, can you imagine how hard it is to import a shipment of herbs from the Middle East? So to say my ingredient supplies in the lap of the gods is a bit of an understatement. But recently, I did get enough ingredients for three batches. So I've already made those three batches myself. I've measured the herbs, I've weighed the herbs, and I've mixed it. Then I've blended the ingredients together myself. So I don't need to worry about that. The Shin Splint Doctor Remedies that I make, they're of the highest quality. 100% organic, perfect. Now I've shipped over two batches to my trusted friend, Emma Williams. So if you've got shin splints, then I strongly suggest that you get this remedy, called Shin Splints Doctor, before her supplies run out. And before you inadvertently harm yourself with more painkillers or opt in for surgery. Like I said earlier, this remedy, it packs a wallop. You will feel your shins improving. Within a few hours of using it, you'll know something is changing. And that is your shins getting better. But you must hurry, because I normally only give this remedy to my personal clients and to fellow herbalists. I've never committed a single batch of shin splints, doctor, to anyone else before. Now, Emma's begged me not to let other herbalists or online stores know what we were up to till she had the stock. Well, she's got the stock now, and it's going faster than we both imagined. So if you mess around or think you're going to come back later, you may miss out. And if you've got shin splints and shin splint pain, then that would be a horrible mistake. Don't let that happen. Using this remedy, you're going to be free of shin splints, and you're going to be back running a lot faster than you can imagine. Have a good look at the testimonials below. And see how the shin splint doctors help men and women across the country get rid of their shin splints fast. Now, this is your chance to benefit from the guaranteed supply of shin splints doctor. But it may be you've got a few understandable seeds of doubt, and that's fair enough because we don't know each other. After all, you don't know me. So let me put your mind completely at rest so that you can experience the shin splint doctor remedy for yourself you can try it for 90 days completely risk free you don't risk a single penny trying this remedy for yourself because you've got a complete 90 days unconditional 100 percent money back guarantee but the clear and simple truth of this remedy is this it's a breakthrough remedy. No, there's nothing else like it. So it's going to quickly and easily get rid of your shin splints. And if it doesn't, 
or if you're not completely satisfied with it in any way at all, then I insist you send the remedy back to me. Send it to Emma in any condition and she will personally make sure that you get a fast and full refund of every penny you paid for the remedy. No questions asked, no hassles. And not only that, you can keep the full set of bonus ebooks as a thanks for trying the remedy. You've got my word on that. Okay, so how much will this Shin Splints Doctor Remedy cost you? Well, I normally charge my clients $200 for an appointment plus $170 for the remedy because it is handmade and it is organic. However, because you're not having an appointment with me and appointments with me are pretty hard to get, plus we're not using my offices, we're not using my staff, we're not using all the other expenses, I've agreed with Emma to give you a 50% discount on the Shin Splint Doctor Remedy. That means that you can get your Shin Splint Doctor Remedy for just $87 plus $5 shipping. That means you're going to save over $280. And not only that, Emma's literally manhandled me into giving you a set of bonus health books. And they're valued at $127. Now they're going to the first 100 people who tried the Shin Splint Doctor Remedy. Now you can see the details of those books below, but I will say those books are valued at more than the price of this remedy. So this is an amazing offer. It could be the first time and the last time that I'm selling this for less than $170. So, $87, it's less than the price of a visit to the doctor. Now you've nothing to lose here, it's 100% risk free. So order your remedy now. While Emma's got the, the stuff on stock, and while she's still on this page, simply click a link below, and Emma will look after you. And if you've got any questions at all about shin splints, or about the shin splints remedy, you can write to me at any time. So click on the link below, and Emma will get your shin splint doctor in the post to you today. And I look forward to helping you get pain-free shins and getting back out on the road again as soon as possible. Bye. Bye for now.